how's everything going? Everything's everything's going great. Thank you so much for asking me to do this. Yes, Brooke. How do you pronounce your last name? Colucci. Colucci. Okay, that's cool. Yes. Where are you originally from? I'm from New York. Raised, still living here. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, so I've had a ton of drummers on the show, and I've made a list. So I've had Morgan Rose from Seven Dust, Robert Sweet from Striper, mm -hmm. Rob Rivera, Nonpoint, Dango, Scott Stapham, Ray Lazier from Corn, and now I got you. So that's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. You made a the list. Of, you got a great lineup there. A lot of great drummers. I know, right? I've yeah. been watching a lot of your videos today, and like the choices you make or the cover of the songs are so diverse, you know. Thank you. Yeah, I like to like to mix it up and, you know, try new things, expand my horizons with music. So, how do you decide which song to cover? It's really just whatever song I've been listening to or whatever I've been vibing with lately. You know. Um, yeah, I kind of stick a lot with my favorites, so that, that being classic rock, and every so often, a uh, disco funk track, you know? Yes. So I've been watching your videos today, and there's so many, like, funk, disco. It's so cool. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Like, how do you find that kind of music? I mean, is it, because some of it just seems like I've never heard it before, but then you're playing to it, and it sounds so good. I don't know, but like you do like a deep dive of like that kind of stuff. Yeah. So some of it, a couple of the tracks I have on my page are actually drumless tracks. So I'll find them off of iTunes or Drumeo actually has a great selection of drumless tracks. Um, and so some of the funk tracks are more that. And then some of it is just like deep dive into 70s disco funk music. Yes, yes, that's really cool. Thank you. I forgot to mention, like we've we've met before backstage once at a Seven Dust show. Yeah. So it's the. Uh, do you still like? Have you been to any shows this year? I mean, it's the beginning of the year. It's only January. Is it too soon? Yeah, I actually I've not been to my first show of 2024 yet. You know, you got honestly, any plans to? I don't have any plans to right now. I right. Uh, still gotta you know gotta figure out which show I want to go to. I'm not going to lie. It's been freezing here in New York. And if it's too cold, I don't want to leave the house. So the thought of going out to a show at night in the freezing, not my thing. So, <laughs> <laughs> I hate the cold. Um, but yeah. I was in, oh, yeah. Keep going. I'm sorry. I was just going to say there hasn't really been any shows that have come to New York that have piqued my interest yet. So that is, I'll see what my first show of 2024 will be. I used to love like the New York hardcore scene back in the day, like the uh, Life of Agony, Biohazard, Madball. I don't know if you ever got in. I mean, that's like way before your time, probably. But it just seemed like they had a cool scene back in the 90s, you know? Yeah, yeah. I I personally never really got into it, um, but right, right. <laughs> I've heard great things. <laughs> I was in New York um, last year, and I went to a really cool bar called Duff's in Brooklyn. Uh, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah it looked like my basement when i walked in there <laughs> like it just had the yeah. same setup i was really really blown away yeah a lot of cool little underground spots in new york oh yeah. so i made a list of like so first of all i found out about you because you post all these amazing drum covers on youtube thank you and it's like i have so many questions i don't know where to begin w what made you decide to do the first one I mean, you, you just like messing around, like, let me just record myself playing a song. Yeah, um, exactly that. At the time, you know, obviously I was definitely influenced by, I would watch other drummers on YouTube as well. So I was definitely influenced by like, you know, seeing other people do this. Um, and my brother um, is super techie, really into like computers and recording and all that sort of stuff. So it was kind of like, our little project like i would play the drums and then he would record it and then edit the video and so then i would upload it um oh, cool. and yeah so it was really just just for fun and just you know it's what i would it was my after school activity 
Um, and it just kind of people started to take notice of it, started to get attention for it. And yeah. The rest I love that your brother helps you like uh, is, is the techie side that helps you. That's so cool to have. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm not techie at all. Like I need that kind of like family yeah. member. Yeah. I'm so not techie either. He doesn't really <laughs> help me with it as much anymore. He's kind of, he told me, you know, he got busy doing his own things with work, but you know, he taught me like how to do everything. So did he great. really? So, so yeah. you, you basically are on your own now. When, as far as when you post a video, like you know where to set the cameras up and and record yeah. do your thing. Yeah, I mean, luckily, so I use a GoPro actually, and you can have the app on your phone, and you can oh. look like what the camera is looking at on your phone. So I'll sit behind my kit, and then I have my phone. So that's kind of how I like angle everything and make sure that you know you can see everything, like my pedals and the snare and all of that. It sounds like you're turning techie, like you're like your brother now. So maybe you're you're like the the nerd now that can figure all this out. You know, I, you sound smart bit. now. <laughs> <laughs> Only a little bit. So I made a list of like, you know, this is funny because I was like, I'm gonna make a, a a small list of song cover songs that I love that you've done, and then my <laughs> list got so long, I was like, oh, just, they're all of them. I like them all, but there's there's a couple of them like I'm, I'm just I'll mention them here and here and there, but. When you covered No Doubt Sunday morning, I thought that was really cool. Just the so diverse, you know. I'm like, you're covering Black Sabbath now. You're doing No Doubt, you know. Yeah. And, and Miley Cyrus too, you know. So it's just, uh, are you a big like '90s fan? You know, because I see a, some '90s music thrown in there. I'm a '90s guy. Yeah, definitely love music. Anything from like '60s to '90s is, yeah, that's like my favorite. Um, yeah, big '90s fan for sure. Love, no doubt. Yeah, and you also did Veruca Salt too, which is really cool. Uh, yeah. Volcano Girls. Yeah, I love yeah. Veruca Salt. Yeah. Anyway, so how how did you first get started? Like, who who uh, so like I had a guy that lived down the street from me, and my brother. My brother's five years older. I looked up to him. Whatever music he liked, I had a guy down the street mm -hmm. that told him that was big into music. Who was your like person that got you into music? Like, how did you get into playing drums? Yeah, so I really got into music you know both my parents they're not musicians but they do love music and my dad specifically he has a really good ear for music and like you know like just hearing like oh like that was off or like that wasn't in time or whatever um so my definitely credit my mom and dad for my music taste and you know grew up on tool led zeppelin godsmack you know all those amazing bands and when it comes to, you know, picking up drums and everything, I actually went to a birthday party and it was rock and roll themed. And they had musicians there with drums and guitar and each kid at the party got to try out, you know, the instruments. And when I sat behind the kit, just fell in love. Yeah. Yeah. I have a, a, a couple of kids and, and my, my kids think of my drums as like furniture, you know, like they just see it all the time. So it's not like that. Oh, look at their drums. They're, but their yeah. friends come over and they play the drums and some of them are really good. So it reminds me of you, you know? Yeah. That's just, awesome. Just sitting back and playing music. So your parents, um, both your mom and dad are like into like tool and all these different bands. Is that that's oh, pretty yeah. cool? Yeah, no, it's great. My, the first time I went and saw tool, my mom and dad took me. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Did your brother go too? Is it just like a whole family go see Tool? No, he did not join us on that one. Um, we drove like two hours to go see them. And so he had like other things that he had to do that weekend. But still, it was it was a family <laughs> outing. <laughs> <laughs> so once you posted like your first video, uh, did you, did you feel like after, like, I remember posting my first interview and then I was like, oh, this is on. I love doing this. Were you, were you that way? Like after you doing the first one where you're like, this is my passion now. I really want to, you know, pursue it. Yeah, definitely. Cause I, ever since I started playing drums, I always knew that I wanted to do this professionally. And this is, this is like what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I decided it at five years old. This is what I'm doing with my life. Um, so and, you know, like 
at the time, like I didn't really have anybody in my area to jam with, like in a band or anything. So I was like, if I'm gonna, you know, do this, I guess, you know, this is my outlet in the way that I can, you know, make a name for myself, social media and all of that. Um, so that's, yeah, it was. What year, what year was this, by the way, when you first started playing, uh, when you start, first started posting these videos, your drum covers? Maybe, I want to say like 2015, 2016. Okay. Because I remember I was like 12, 13 all these years later you know that's pretty cool did you ever play in like local bands and stuff when you were like a teenager you know i did for a little bit i had one band when i was like 16 17 yeah um and we just played local gigs in the area just whatever we could get i miss those days right oh that's so cool did you have like yeah. band flyers and stuff we did. We had a, we had a couple band flyers. I think I still have our like very first one somewhere because it was like my oh, first yeah. show. So you know, gotta gotta keep it for memories. Yes, I remember. I was like the only guy that kept all that stuff over the years. So now it's like mm -hmm. they're like, do you you know? Can you post some stuff like back in the day? So that's really cool that you keep that. You know. Yeah. No, I'm all about you know memorabilia and keeping all that sort of stuff. And yeah. Were you nervous that first, like those shows, the early on, playing your oh, first yeah. live shows? Oh yeah, definitely. Did they film? I, did your dad film it or anything? We probably, we probably do have some footage somewhere, deep in the SD card. Um, yeah, we probably do, but yeah, I was super nervous. I'm like normally a very like shy person you know so like the thought of getting up on stage and like everybody's looking at you was like insane for me um definitely felt like i was gonna throw up um because <laughs> of how nervous i was yeah uh but luckily i did not and made it to the show <laughs> just fine so <laughs> that could have gone viral though if you gotten sick you know it could have been like a tiktok of like watch this girl you know throw up <laughs> everywhere on her, on her yeah, drum now, set now, now I wish I got sick. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. I remember one time I was playing drums. I played drums at church for about a decade or so. And um, I got on yeah. stage and I was playing and my pants ripped like all the <laughs> way down. I could see my underwear, you know, I'm like, Whoa, oh, no. what's going on? <laughs> it's like, like nobody ever found out. Have you ever oh. like bled from playing? I, I, one time I hit my hand on the, the, on the ride or somewhere and I, I cut my hand and blood was going. Is that, have you ever injured yourself playing drums? Yeah, I definitely have. I mean, never anything too bad, um, especially during the winter, because I get really, really dry hands. Like, oh, yes, I'm me too. Dry. Um, and so the skin, it gets so dry that just it'll crack and then I'll just start bleeding everywhere. And it happens most of the time when I'm playing. So, yes, I've, you could to yeah. you could go totally like Robert Sweet from Striper and just wear or it, but a lot of 80s bands and wear like gloves, you know, like bring it back, you know, the batter's gloves. <laughs> yeah, I, I've definitely tried them before, but I don't know. I can't like get into the gloves like I have to be holding the sticks in my hands, like the feeling of having like a glove in between my hand and the stick. It's right. just I don't know. I can't do it. <laughs> Now I feel you on that one. Did uh, did you play like marching or anything in high school? No, I thought about it, but never did marching band. But I did do concert percussion, um, and I did do jazz band in middle school. And I was not a fan. Okay, well, you're not a fan of the music, or just not a fan of the class that you were in. I was not a fan of the class I was in. It's just like. I don't know what it was. It was just something about like school and. No, I understand. Yeah. So did you take drum lessons too? I, Were you a fan I, of that? You yeah. Did, did I, you like I, that? I was, I really liked my first instructor I had. Yeah. I loved lessons for a while. Um, yeah. I was a fan of lessons for sure. Yeah, I was never a fan of lessons. <laughs> so like, yeah. that, that's cool that you liked it. So like you, you wouldn't, you never, you never got burned out or anything. Cause I remember I would get homework to do like practice this. I'd be like, oh, this takes the fun out of playing. I like, I got to learn this, you know? Yeah, it was, I, 
I actually, I totally get why other people don't like lessons, you know, like the thing of being told what to do and all mm -hmm. that, you know, like I, I totally get that. That's part of the reason why I didn't like jazz band in school. Cause I just, you know, I didn't have like any connection with like one, the people I was playing music with two, I didn't have a connection with like the teacher, the instructor, you know? Yeah. Um, so it was just really hard for me to like get on the same page as them. But I would say if I didn't have as good of a teacher as I did, I probably wouldn't like lessons. But I'm very grateful that, you know, my first teacher was really cool and, you know, definitely. That's had cool. A good going. Can you say his name or can you give him a shout out or do you remember his yeah, name? Yeah, <laughs> his name is Chris Dorn. That's cool. Yeah, does yeah. He ever post any, does he ever post videos of him playing or is he like a famous drummer? I have never seen any videos of him. No. And I haven't, I haven't talked to him in years either. So, <laughs> but he was my first teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you've got some, like, uh, you got a lot going on and, and so you got a new band coming up soon, right? I mean, you, you got a new band in the process, right? Can you say what the yes. band is? Or the, what the band's name is? <laughs> Sorry. Yes. So the band name is Vonin. So Vonin. Yes. V O N A N. Awesome. So it's 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 in the works. You know, it's been in the works for a while now. Um, we're just really making sure that we have all the pieces together and the right team lined up and all that before we launch. Um, we do have a couple of songs recorded. And we're going to be going back into the studio, actually, like early March. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really excited for everybody to hear it and to, you know, finally release more music. And yeah, super excited. On in. Cool band name. That's cool. Did you come up with that name or did somebody else? Or was it a group? No, um, it was actually the band name before I even, you know, joined or started working with my bandmates oh cool yeah so you yeah. came up with that first right yeah vaughn i like it when you guys record do you guys get together is it like somebody sending you files and you're then you know getting techie back and forth are you in a room together playing when we record we are in a room together playing you know live oh, I like that. um but when we're writing and stuff because i you know, I'm in New York and then the guitarist and bass player, they're out in LA. So we kind of send a lot of like files back and forth. Um, that's how we do like the writing process kind of. And then we all meet up. Um, we record in Nashville and cool. we all meet up and jam everything out, get everything together and then record. Do you ever, I know so many people going to Nashville. Would you ever want to live in Nashville? I mean, it, it's such a music place you know i could see you totally live in there yeah i've definitely thought about it and i do really love it there um i don't know if i would move there like permanently i'm like i'm big on like weather and where yes. i am and nashville has no beach and i love the beach okay so <laughs> I, need <laughs> right. somewhere, I need somewhere that's like has the beach I love so. the beach too. Like it's just the vibe, you know. Like maybe you could have a studio yeah. facing the beach, you know, something like oh, Malibu or I don't know. That's the dream. So you're not a fan of cold. You're a fan of warm beach. That's good. 70, 70 and sunny. That's my <laughs> <real life>. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like uh um well you I bet you're looking forward to like touring, get on the road. Is that something you like doing, being on the road? Oh yeah. I love to tour. I love playing shows for people. It's, you know, there really is no better feeling than getting up on stage and sharing, you know, your music with people and all of that. And so I'm really, really excited to, you know, start doing all the touring and sharing music with people with my new project. So you're like, um, you, you, you remind me of me a little bit like introvert. I'm a little bit introvert as well. But when you're on the road yeah. meeting people, is that hard to do like fans or like people that want to come up and talk to you? Is that challenging for you or do you like it? Yeah, I mean, I definitely I love to meet everybody and, you know, talk to everybody. 
Um, definitely sometimes I, since I am more introverted, I sometimes just don't know what to talk to people about, <laughs> you know, that's like, so if I'm like a little quiet or shy, it's nothing personal. I just don't know what to say. So yeah, that's normally <laughs> how I am. It's, you know, um, not yeah, the most I'll... social, but I was so that way in, in high school. And then people now are like, I thought you were so stuck up. And I'm like, I wasn't stuck up. I just didn't know what to say. So I was just quiet yeah. and I didn't, and I wasn't ignoring you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, I totally relate to that. It's yeah. Okay. I want to go back to my list of songs that you, that you've covered that I love. Your double bass is so good. And I wrote bleed from a sugar and tool sweat. I mean, that's like, um, did, how long have you been playing double bass? Did somebody teach you that or did you just figure it out on your own? I've tried to mess with that a little bit, but it's it's challenging for me. Yeah, I that I've definitely learned like tips and tricks from other people um as I've played it. Um I think I started playing added a double pedal to my kit when I was like So I started playing I want to say like 11 is when I added double kick to my kit. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, learn tips and tricks from other people. And like one of my favorites is doing, I'll do paradiddles with my feet. Oh yes, that's so cool. Okay. Yeah. You do those so, with your feet. Oh, that's, yeah. oh, I'm gonna try that. Yeah, no, it's a great, cause it's like going from, you know, you go from doing doubles and all that with your feet. So it makes going back and forth singles seem so much easier. Um, but yeah, that's okay, so when you record a song, do you okay? Do you film it once and then go back and be like, Oh, I gotta do it again, or, or I gotta cut this piece and do this piece? Or does that make sense, or do you just nail it first take? Um, it depends. Sometimes I'll get it first take, and those are like best recording days. Um, but there are times where I've done like 15 takes. So I'm oh. not a fan of like piecing things together. Like I like to get everything in, you know, one take. Like I'm not gonna sit here and like Photoshop my drums. I'm just gonna <laughs> play it, play it right, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, normally it just kind of depends on the song and like how I'm feeling that day and all that. So yeah, sometimes it's a one take day. Sometimes it's like a eight, nine, ten takes day so oh gosh that's gotta be so frustrating i can i can imagine like you're in the middle of a song and then you do one wrong thing and you're like oh do i keep playing or do i just you know yeah sometimes if it's if it's just like one wrong thing i'm like you know it's fine like people make mistakes i'm only human you know just yeah. leave them mistaken so i like that video you posted uh, i was watching it earlier where you're watching yourself you're like critiquing like your, your old videos it's not yeah. hard to do like watch the old videos I'm like oh what am i doing Oh yeah, it was it was definitely really there was many points where I just couldn't help but to cringe cuz I'm like <laughs> yeah. you know, you're looking back on your younger self and all you could think of is like, oh my gosh, like what was I thinking? Yeah, do you go back and watch a lot of your videos ever? Do you ever just get bored and like I'm just going to watch YouTube. Let me watch myself on YouTube today. <laughs> I really don't know. I go back to my videos just to like i'll check comments and stuff um, oh do you, so you read your comments that's good i mean yeah, i guess yeah. that's good yeah um but i don't really go back just to specifically watch myself i'll you know watch it a couple of times before i post it just to make sure like it's good um but once it's posted that's that's it just Not leave it really. alone move just on like, let it do its thing yeah that's interesting. You read the comments, though. I'm, that's kind of scary, right? I mean, they're probably all all positive, so I mean, that's not a big deal. But I don't know if yeah. negative comments would bother you, or you know, yeah, you probably no, don't I, get any though. I get the, um, you know, I'm very lucky. I get mainly positive comments, um, but every so often when I do get like somebody who's just hating, um, yeah. I just, you know. I always say it's a random person on the internet. Like, I don't know them. They don't know me. Just trolling. But yeah. They're, it's, if, if you feel the need to like comment something negative on somebody's post, who's clearly just like having fun with their instrument, you're probably not a very happy person. So mm -hmm. I, I agree. I just, you know, if, if they need an outlet, 
and my video happens to be that outlet, that's fine. I can take <laughs> it. I really don't care. Like, <laughs> right. Your it funk video fun. just messed up my day or something. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know how bad their comments can be. Like, <laughs> your video is really good. Thank you. Thank you. Do you ever, um, do you ever play like the electric kit? Has that ever, ever tried that before? I, I've played a handful of electric kits before. Um, I don't own one. Um, just cause I honestly yet to find an electric kit that I really like, you know, um, I'm very lucky to have the studio that I do. I can play my acoustic drums, be as loud as I want, like pretty much 24 seven and like never get any complaints. Um, well, so good. it's just, I don't know. There's just a feeling about playing an acoustic kit that the electric kit doesn't have. Yeah. So. And I feel like the electric kit makes drummers sound way better. I don't know. Like I've had friends that like they'll play electric kit and then they'll go to the acoustic kit and they'll be like, oh, I'm not as good as I thought I was. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, I think definitely, you know, there's that. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, I'm totally blanking, but you know, when you're, I definitely think when you're playing the acoustic kit, your technique and the way you hold the sticks and the way you hit the drums is a lot. It matters a lot more than when you're playing the electric kit. Cause it's all just like the same automated censored. If you just, even if you just hit it like with your hand, you're going to get the same sound no matter what. So it like doesn't even really matter how you hit. Whereas right. like, um acoustic kit you know it's a lot less forgiving with that kind of stuff that's well said exactly i, I have a, a a horror story i was playing at church one time and they had electric kit and i'm guest drummer yeah. and i'm just gonna play and so i'm in front of everybody i get ready i hit the hi-hat and the hi-hat for some reason is the kick drum so it's like doom and i was like oh no, oh, no. i kicked the drum and it's like <laughs> like i was like straight up panic attack and i, I just turned the thing off then I turn it back on oh and it works. Gosh. Oh and my that, gosh. After that day, I was like, I don't like the electric kits, you know. <laughs> Screw yeah. that. Imagine having to play the whole set like with your, <laughs> yes. your yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd be crying on stage <laughs> doing that, you know. It's like one single <laughs> tear coming down as you're playing. <laughs> They're like, This is the worst drummer ever. Oh what do you god. What do you think about um percussion? Like I love um like Jim Bay. And uh, I've gotten to play with some some cool people, and and, and um, Jim Bay and the the bongos, I guess, and Gahon. Do you play any of those instruments? Um, I sometimes. So I, I don't own a Cajon, but you know, I've definitely played them before, and they're not my favorite. But I do love to add like bongos to my kit, um, and I love other percussion elements as well. Like I have a glockenspiel from when i played concert percussion in high school so sometimes i'll add that to my kit and kind of like fiddle around and see what i could make with it um oh that's cool but yeah i do love me some good percussion you have a um you i noticed like on that cover ring my bell i need a ward you had like some like little like things i don't know what they're called like they're like you're playing something with one hand like ring my bell <laughs> and you're doing the other hi-hat with one hand that's so yeah, cool that, thank you that was my my glockenspiel <laughs> oh that's it yeah. i see yeah. yeah that's such a fancy name of saying that <laughs> yeah but, no it's it's i just call it bell you're playing the bell <laughs> yeah yeah did you do that, that was, song in one take the ring my bell do you remember that was that a like a one-time deal mm, that might have been like a three takes um yeah, i think you got I a good memory like, yeah no because i remember that when it came together like pretty pretty seamlessly for me like i remember the first like two takes i was just like getting warmed up and like you know getting used to like you know obviously like switching my stick and putting one down yeah and picking the other mallet and stuff um but i think by like the third take i was able to get it oh yes I, and and I'm sorry, I'm like I feel like I'm fanning out because of all these songs you covered that I love. The Winery Dogs, which is a band I love, you know, kind of a yeah. super group. Richie Kotzen, 
I wrote it down because I knew I was going to forget Billy Sheen, Mike Portnoy. That was a great song, uh, Xanadu. Did, that, did you like them? The Winery Dogs, the super group. I, I love those guys. Yeah, love them. How could you not? It's like you said, it's a super group. They're insanely talented, all of them. And it's just what a killer song and really fun to play as well. Yes. I mean, I got to give it up to you. I mean, you're, you're listening to Mike Portnoy from Dream Theater, or whatever. Dream Theater. I didn't mean to say Dream Theater, whatever. Dream Theater is huge, but <laughs> how do you not get intimidated? You're like, you listen to the song, you're like, yeah, I think I could do that. I mean, that's that's so phenomenal. Thank you. Yeah. You just always got to, you know, you hear a song and you like it, and it's just, you wish you could play it, but you just got to gotta give it a go. See if you can. And then you might surprise yourself that you can play that song. So That's good advice to give to people, you know? Yeah, always just go for it. This do you advice. get do you get um artists that, that like big artists that reach back to you and be like wow that was a great cover you did you know good job or any of that or one day you will i do i do occasionally mike mike portnoy actually commented on my post no of way. the winery dogs and he was you know gave me props which was really huge and oh, you know, so, so crazy cool. and very thankful for it I would like print that out and frame it and be like, look, yeah. you gave me this comment. I'd get him to yeah. sign it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get requests a lot from, from, you know, just random people? Like, can you cover this song or that song? I do get requests occasionally. Um, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Do you take them or are you just like, nah? I mean, is there any been like songs where you're like, that sucks. I'm not going to do that. I really have never, I've never taken, I've never actually taken their requests and done it. <laughs> um, what about your parents? I feel yeah. bad saying that, but like, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it's just not my favorite. It's not my cup of tea. Um, but yeah, my parents, my parents do, they make requests and sometimes I'll, I'll listen to, I'll do it for mom and dad. Um, but sometimes I'm like, mm. Oh, that's good. So when is um when are you gonna start releasing new music? Yeah, hopefully this spring, somewhere, summer, like somewhere around there, just you know, this year. Um, like I said, we're still working on, you know, getting everything together behind the scenes and all that sort of stuff and really finalizing everything. But it's I'm very, very excited, you know. I think everybody's really going to love it. I know I'm already loving it and very happy with how everything's coming out. So, yeah, you know, got to have the merch. You know, I am a huge vinyl person, love collecting vinyl. I know the guitarist Brinley. She's also huge into collecting vinyl. So our, our first album will definitely be on vinyl for sure. Oh, that's great. I mean, it must be amazing to have your own vinyl, you know, so, that's so cool. Yeah. What about what about music videos? Are you guys gonna do video? Is this all in the working? I bet. I bet but you know, music videos. Oh, do you yeah. like doing that? Are you looking forward to? Or are you oh, gonna do a music video? Yeah, definitely. Got to got to do everything. Um, you know, still working on all of that. Well, cool. Who? Okay. Who are your influences? Who? Who? Um. What? What are your favorite bands? What bands make you wanna? Uh. What bands you wanna cover in the future? Hmm. So I would definitely say my biggest influences when it comes to drummers and bands, um, obviously John Bonham, Led Zeppelin, um, love Neil Peart, Rush. Oh yeah. Danny Carey, Tool. Oh, these are um, great. Um, yeah, those are probably like my top three for sure. Um, but you know, obviously, some honorable mentions, you know, Mitch Mitchell, Jimi Hendrix, uh, love Ginger Baker from Cream as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, that dude's mean. He's like, Get off my lawn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I made a documentary about that dude. Rest oh, in my peace. gosh, rest in peace. He had some killer outfits as well. <laughs> There's this one uh, I saw of him. He had on these like, it's like fur coat and then these like snake skin knee high boots with like these satin <laughs> pants. Like he was very fabulous, I must say. Um, 
But yeah, no, you could definitely expect lots more of classic rock from me in the future in terms of covers um, and plenty more drumless tracks of me just jamming out, doing my thing, you know? Yeah. Um, but you got a cool vibe going on, you know? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I, you know, I've always been into big into fashion and, you know, it's another way to express yourself. And I definitely think that fashion and music can go hand in hand. So yeah, big, big into fashion, love seventies, you know, definitely look to that era for inspiration. Um, yeah. I love that. Oh, and you also play um, bass guitar as well, right? Yes, I do. That's cool. I'm, I'm a, oh wait, wrong. Got my bass right here. The camera's like flipped. It's so weird on StreamYard, but <laughs> I I know I do the same thing too when I'm trying to move something. It's, it's everything is opposite. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when um when I I started playing bass before I played drums. Did you play mm -hmm. drums first and then bass, or just bass yeah. afterwards? Yeah. So drums and then bass. Um, I picked up bass in like middle school. Yeah. Cause I think I was like maybe 14, 15 when I picked up bass. Um, just, you know, wanted to start expanding more, learning more about music. So. Ah, yes. Did you ever pick up guitar? I do here and there. Um, really not my thing though. Not my thing. I just like, I don't know what it is. I just feel so uncomfortable playing guitar. It's, <laughs> it's just like when I picked up drums and everything, it just felt right, you know, and like same thing with bass. Like it just, I, it felt right. But when I pick up a guitar, I'm like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, it's just <laughs> it feels so uncomfortable. Like the chords too, you feel like you're going to get carpal tunnel, you know, it's like, <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, that's so funny. Cause I'm the same way. I've, I've always played bass and drums, but I could never figure out guitar. I was like, my hands are too big. Like just, yeah, yeah. Right. have you ever recorded a bass line and then played over it with, on drums? Like just kind of create your own band. That's yeah. I, I have done that plenty of times before. Um, don't sometimes I like so like weird because sometimes i'll write something and i'll be like yeah this is this is really good i really like this <laughs> and then like i finish recording it and i listen back to it i'm like oh my gosh this sounds like <laughs> a bunch of little kids wrote this and like <laughs> so <laughs> tried singing once too and oh yeah that. um oh my How'd gosh that go? it was so bad and <laughs> It's it's I somewhere on my computer. I saved it for you know if I ever am having a bad day and I need to laugh, you know, just go <laughs> back to that and laugh at myself. So. <laughs> you should make a video like that of like just releasing all your embarrassing stuff, you know. Like here's yeah. me, you know, here's me jamming with myself, here's me singing, you know. Here's or me. that's that's way too scary. I found a video once of me like when I was 12. And I wanted, and crisscross was big when I was uh, a kid, and they wore their clothes backwards. And I'm like, this, yeah. <laughs> I, put, I put my clothes on backwards and started. And that that video haunted me forever. And I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna put it out. But yeah, I, I remember them. They had a, their song on Just Dance, I think. Wow, that's cool. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah cause I was I would, obsessed I, with I, that. I loved Just Dance. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to have to go back and watch that. That's so cool. Uh, do you have any, well, you know, you like so much stuff. So I was going to ask you, do you have any like guilty pleasure music where, you know, like something that guilty pleasure music that, that you have, or just you like everything? Cause I got I, some guilty pleasure music. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if it's so much like guilty pleasure. Cause like music is music, you know? Right. Don't yeah. Yeah. About it. Um, but I will say some stuff that might surprise people. Um, love Lady Gaga, big Lady Gaga fan. Um, I will every so often get down with some Britney Spears, um, yeah. as well as Pitbull. Uh, love Pitbull. Oh, I have, I have a friend that's obsessed with Pitbull. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He wants what, to be what, him. <laughs> what's your guilty pleasure music? 
I remember when Dixie Chicks came out. Perfect example. Dixie Chicks came out. I bought the CD and hid the CD from my friends. Like I hid it. Like I had this console in my car. I was like, I'll put it in there. Yeah. Nobody's gonna know I like the Dixie Chicks. They can't know. know. But uh, hey, do you like Taylor Swift? Are you just a Taylor Swift fan? I am not a Swifty. <laughs> okay. Um, I did not see her on her Eras tour. Um, you didn't? I don't. No, I did not. Um, I don't dislike her. I'm just not like obsessed with her music. You know. Right. Yeah. So what so. if Taylor Swift's like Brooke? Will you play drums for me? You're going to do that, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. You're going to be a Swifty. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be the biggest Swifty. <laughs> no, but yeah, I definitely, you know, I think she's very talented. Um, and I, like I said, don't dislike her music, but it's just, I don't know, never got dove too deep into Taylor Swift's catalog. Yeah, I agree. Um, the singer, I'm trying to think of his name from Disturb. He had, you know, he was defending her and he had a good point. You know, he's like, you know, she's singing her songs live. You know, she's not singing track, you know, singing by tracks, which yeah. is kind of cool. And she does. I think she does write like most of her own songs, too, which is great because mm -hmm. somebody at, you know, her level, like some a lot of those people, you know, they hire writers and stuff. Mm, and yes, say, she's an amazing songwriter. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Writing a song seems so hard to me. Have you ever written a song before? I I have, um, but I've never like shared it with anybody. You know, just because very. You're gonna, share right, you're gonna share it right now? Just no, <laughs> no, <laughs> nope. Um, yeah, just I'm really not confident in my lyric writing abilities. You know, mm -hmm. so I think I yeah, that's know, cool. Maybe you one yeah. maybe one day, but not today. <laughs> How do you play drums when nobody complaining? I mean, do you have it just well? Like, is it just like, you know? Like, I used to put like foam on my walls, so yeah, you know, my parents yeah. couldn't hear it. Do your parents yeah, just don't I, mind if they hear it, or or uh, your neighbors or whoever? Yeah, they. My parents don't mind um, at all, and I do have some of like the noise cancellation, like. They make insulation yeah. for it and all that sort of stuff. So I have that in my studio a little bit. Um, and also, too, I I live in the middle of nowhere. Oh, okay. So I have one neighbor, and they, they'll they hear it sometimes, and they'll actually, like, if I see them <laughs> while I'm, like, walking at the end of my driveway, they'll be like, it's sounding good. So oh, that's they're, cool. They're, yeah. they're, super, they're super chill about it. So um, that's how I get no complaints. I have one neighbor, <laughs> and... They're cool. So they're cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It too. So <laughs> I remember my old neighbor was like, he said like his, uh, like his bowls or glasses or something were like vibrating, like you know oh my gosh. just for me playing drums next door. So that was wild. That's crazy. Yeah. I didn't have enough foam on my wall, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> how many, uh, how long do you play? Like, do you play every single day? Do you practice every day? Almost. You know, um, I think yeah. it's good to have a balance between, you know, days where you're playing and really going at it, but then also days to kind of just like, you know, take a break. And I know for me, like I can definitely get burnt out pretty easily when it comes to being creative and all of that. So it's good to, you know, take a day to like recoup and refresh and all of that. Um, but I do play pretty much every day, though. I'm sorry for asking you so many drum nerd questions, but like I, I've talked to my friends a lot about this. I have a buddy that this one of my favorite drummers that taught me to play, but he would occasionally move cymbals around just to throw them off. Like he would move things and then he'd say he would play different and it would be better. Or like he'd like it or wouldn't like it. Do you ever do anything like that where you switch things up? I used to do a lot more of that um, when I first started playing, you know, just because you're experimenting and finding out what's most comfortable for you but i would say like over the past like couple of years i really haven't changed up my kit too much um just because i found a you know good setup that really works for me and i really love it um i do occasionally like like i recently just added a octobon or a pearl rocket tom um next to my 12 inch rack tom um 
so that was definitely, you know, addition to my kit. And off to my left side, I'll sometimes that's where I'll, where I'll put like my glockenspiel, like we were talking about, oh, yeah. or like my bongos, or I'll even too, I'll put a stack there, which I love. Um, but yeah, other than that, so it's kind of just like that one left side sometimes mm -hmm. gets yep. switched up, but everything else kind of stays the same. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I had a, a buddy that, had he had these wind chimes he's an older guy and we're at church he's like gotta do the wind chimes so i and they were so corny i was like i'll do the wind chimes one time and then i and then for some reason i i started liking it so i started doing the wind chimes on every song <laughs> way too much wind chimes i don't know if you've ever done wind chimes it's, it's like old man stuff never, never do that i i did i did play the wind chimes in the in high school though to do that you did? Honestly. Yeah. How'd that make you feel when you're playing them? You're like, yes, wind chimes. They're, they're pretty fucking majestic. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, much yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to just get those and add those to my kit. Oh, oh that would be so cool. <laughs> <laughs> your kit looks so clean too. Do you clean all your symbols and everything? Or I, you know, I it looks like dust free. Everything looks nice, shiny. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I definitely think one, the finish I have on my kit, the sparkle is super forgiving, super forgiving. Oh, with that's dust. good. Yeah. Um, mm. but I do. I'll before videos and stuff, I'll make sure that like it's nice and tidy and dusted and everything's all sparkly and shiny. Cool. So, can you name? Can you name? Can you say the name of your band one more time? What your new band? Yeah, the name of the band is Vonin. Vonin. Okay, cool. Yes. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. And so people can find you on, I watch you on YouTube, you're on Instagram and yes. all the social medias. Yeah, I'm on all the social medias. You can find me on Instagram at rockangel underscore. TikTok is also rockangel underscore. And YouTube and Facebook are both Brooksy. Okay, great. Yeah. Definitely. I want to definitely like add those links and share them. Cause I was trying to, I was telling one of my friends today, I was like, she's got a million videos. I, he's like, send me a video. I was like, I don't know which one It's like, I'm getting anxiety. I'm trying to figure out which is the best one, you know? But, oh, thank, you. thank you. But you got so much great stuff and, and uh, it's really nice to talk to you and uh, definitely want to do more interviews. That'd be cool. Yeah. You know, with your new band, you know, Yeah, for sure. Get everybody. Be, yeah. The, the update once we are, finally once we finally exist and everybody yes knows about um but that yeah that would be amazing awesome. we'd love to do that <laughs> and another idea real fast i'm sorry to, to keep rambling here but it would be cool to i was thinking about doing like a drum episode where i could have you and rob from nonpoint maybe morgan rose and we just all talk about drums right yeah would you be yeah. down for that yeah love drums Drums are good. Yeah, you do like yeah, drums. It's, <laughs> it's, almost like that's, it's almost like that's what I do. So yeah, that's yeah, yeah. You played before. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely want to do a drum episode. I'm just thinking out loud now. So I think that would be really good. But yeah. Anyway, Brooke, thank you so much for doing this. This is great. I really appreciate yes. your time. This is awesome. Of course. Thank you so much for having me.